Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and rabbits, and welcome your beautiful faces to a brand new video. In today's video, we're gonna do something slightly different. We're actually going to do a listing video. That is right, we've got a hell of a bit, well, a bit of a debt pile going on, and I really, really want to crack on with it. So, without further ado, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here, and let's get to work. This is the death pile in question. So as you can see, we have a lot of trainers. We've got a few Trackmaster stuff. We've got some video games, PS4 controllers, PS3 controllers, a bag of mist. We've got some clothing and we've got some bo uh, boxed shoes and some stuff. Uh, yeah, so uh, that is what we need to crack on today. So yes, like I said, something slightly different because we normally we do a lot of sourcing here on Rummage Around, but today we're actually gonna do some work and crack on with it. Right, I think I'm gonna start with a little bit of clothing. So I'm gonna spin you around and show you the clothing listing step. And here we have it. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. We are using the beautiful sort of just house wall uh, with a Rummage Around engraved coat hanger. Beautiful, beautiful thing. A lot of people have asked me how and where did I get that from? Well, my dad, in fact, did it for me. He did me a few of them. So I've got a few coat hangers with my logo engraved into the wood itself. And it just gives that a sort of subtle, beautiful, beautiful hint. Look, it's, it's just awesome. I absolutely love it. Uh, but yes, we are gonna get this listed uh, and uh, probably about 30, 30, 40 quid. I'll show you why it's worth that much money. So as you can see, it's just an M&S luxurious tailored, but it's in fact, this is why it's worth a little bit more than normal because it's woven by a company called Moon, which is exclusive to M&S. Pure new wool, that is literally why it's probably worth a lot more than your usual uh, blazer or tweed jacket is if it has this uh, stitched into the jacket so um, definitely be on the lookout for woven by moon and uh, definitely pick it up if the price is right the lights that we use are in fact these newer lights these are the nl 480 i bought three of these back in the day when they're off on offer uh, at amazon they are powered sort of like on the wall you can actually get battery replacements as well but i don't actually have any i just literally stick this into the wall and off you pop you can change the yellowing and the whiteness of the light itself uh, but yes it's very very good highly recommend you get yourself uh, a couple of these i've got three so i've got one for the clothing uh, area and two for the board area uh, but yeah nl 480 newer lights is definitely a boomer and then all I will do is put this, once it's listed, in the J box, and then I'll put on the custom SKU on the eBay field, J, so then I know when it sells, it's gonna be in this box. All right, let's pick another item of clothing. This looks bright, let's list whatever this could be. And this is what that orange thing was. A beautiful, brand new, with tags, Big Pony Polo Ralph Lauren Polo Top. It is women's UK size 18 to 20, so we'll probably get that listed for around about the £30 mark. A nice little tool that we've invested in is a handled ruler. Is it a ruler? Yeah. Yeah. And all you have to do is kind of place it like this. Obviously, I'm going to do it a lot better than this because I need two hands. But it should help with the measurement of the pit to pit and the length. It's really good for length like that, Bosh. And you literally just take a picture. Bosh. So yeah, I'm gonna now crack on and list some clothing off camera. I'm just gonna get smashed through it. Um, I have got some lovely help from my lovely other half. Um, so there is gonna be two of us, but um, what I'll do is I'll do like a little time thing. So um, I can tell you exactly how much time it's taken me. So obviously being two of us, that means every hour is technically two hours. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna crack on, get some of these clothing listed now. Uh, and I'll come back to you if there's anything interesting to show on the clothing side. Just a bit of a tip as well. Don't leave the charity shop price to sticker in the uh, listing because you're not going to get very good uh, feedback. Let's rip that off. Put that on the floor. We now have some trainers that are all prepped and looking be -e beautiful. What I would highly suggest is the following. If you ever see uh, shoe trees, 
pick them up because um, it does help speed the time of prepping. So as you can see, we've got what? Uh, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shoes all prepped, ready to go. Uh, obviously eight sets of shoe trees, which will make it a little bit faster when it comes to photographing, listing and all that good stuff when it comes to shoes and trainers. So if you ever do see any shoe trees around in the car boots, charity shops, or if you just see them online, pick them up, um, especially if you're doing a big batch of trainers uh, and thank me later because it really does speed up the process. Just go for a couple of uh, trainers that we are going to be listing today. We've got a pair of Reebok Armani trainers with a really weird sole. Uh, can't really remember how much I picked up, how much these cost us, maybe £10, uh, but I thought they'd be worth worth something. Reebok collaborated with Armani, got to be what, 40, 50, 60 quid in them. We also have a pair of Adidas Gore-Tex, again, phenomenal fibre, Adidas Terex Gore-Tex walking trainers, UK, size 4. Should be able to get what, maybe 35, 40 quid on them as well? I think they owe us like three or four quid off vinted again a big advocate a big fan of clark's these are clark's intergenics they should sell for about 25 30 quid owes us about six pound fifty from a local car boot uh no charity shop i think and the last item that i'll show you is we have a pair of nike i think these are terra kaigas uh nike trail walking nike reacts same sort of thing uh should be able to get what 40 quid for them as well these are quite desirable at the moment so uh yeah, if you do find yourself with any any time to spare and you, you find these in the charity shops or the car boots, Terra Kaigas, definitely worth picking up. Yeah, regarding them Nikes, we should be able to get about 35 again, 40 quid. So yeah, really nice a pair of trainers being listed as we speak. Who can remember pulling this out of a bulk media container buyout? A beautiful, beautiful, absolutely love to see this tag. A liquid blue 2003 rolling stones tattoo u on a beautiful sort of like a orangey yellow tie dye look at that absolutely beautiful 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 piece it should be about 60 to 80 pounds well 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 that's one empty box yep feels like i'm not really getting anywhere Right, we're going to put it into context. We've done about three hours between the two of us so far. So we've, you know, we've made a good, good, solid dent. But there's still a lot left that we need to crack on, get listed, skewed up and put into these boxes. So what we're going to list next? Clothing, maybe. Games, 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 possibly. Not too much footwear left unless underneath. Oh, no, we've got some camera stuff. Uh, yeah, not really sure what to do. But might as well carry on listing some uh, some clothing. These are pretty cool, actually. We'll uh, probably get these listed because, you know, summer's coming up. We've got some nice, big Tommy Hill figure. Like you said, look at that, £2 from a charity shop. Absolute bargain. Should be able to get a couple of, couple of quid on them. So we'll get some of these listed, I think. See, I don't mind listing electronics, but... Uh... I need cables for everything. So these two are going to have to, I think, remain in the death pile because I don't have the correct cables to be able to test them. So I need to order some. When it comes to listing on the boards, we have these boards like so. What they are is a laminate flooring brought from b &Q. So we have one on the back wall and then one coming out on the carpet. And it just creates a really nice photography station. So we're going to list a few things like cameras, trainers, anything else that goes on the board will be listed on a board. And then obviously we use the clothing station to list clothes and uh, jeans and all that good stuff. So again, we have a couple of these lights, the same lights as we just mentioned at the start of this video. These newer ones, but they are absolutely beautiful when uh, used against this little backdrop. So enough waffling on, let's get things listed. Yeah, we're now going to be listing these Warhammer 40k books. This is a prime example with uh, me sticking to what I know best because, yeah, this was a tiny bit of a fail. Paid £1 per book, which doesn't seem to be too much. However, there isn't really a lot of money in these ones in particular. I know some Warhammer books, especially the hardback ones uh, and the rule books and stuff like that can go for a fair bit of money. I just got a big side when I saw uh, Warhammer 40k books, to be honest, and bought them all. Pound each, I spent one, two, three, four, five. 
he did chop that one in for free. Uh, yeah, so I spent £5, hoping to get about 20 ish back. Not really holding my breath too much, but we're going to get these listed on these beautiful boards and skewed up and put away. What's that? What's that? What's that? Another box completed. Oh, the death pile is looking all right, you know. We've done a lot of uh, a lot of listing tonight. I say tonight, but I think it's only like half three. So yeah, we're you know we're cracking on, getting stuff done, and um, yeah, hopefully in the next few days when these listings do go live, because um, I'm scheduling them at the moment, uh, we can really see the results of getting some really nice days of sales. So let's crack on. We've still got some more to do. Been sorting out the um, bag of winter stuff which will go in the lot so basically this is all the stuff i think will sell better in q4 or in the winter um there's no point listing now because i'm going to be able to get top dollar for them where in the winter in the q4 session so i'm going to bag this up and put this in the lot as well uh that's obviously um yeah not getting listed today it'll get listed another day i was going to list this but then i've realized it's got a it's got a chunk missing out of his armpit hmm that's a shame because that was probably worth a little bit of money. I think for the sake of this video, I'm not going to list that today, but uh, maybe get it repaired. We are back on the boards and we're going to be listing some boxed shoes because uh, we've got a fair few boxed shoes. These are a pair of Carhartt classics with a uh, collaboration with Clarks, which are absolutely beautiful. You don't find them very often. They are brand new. We did a massive retail uh session the other day but uh yes we only paid what 30 40 quid for these uh should be looking at about 100 or thereabouts so really really happy with that and then we just bought a load of carhartt desert boots so we've got plenty of these to get listed and uh let me just quickly show you the death pile it looks so much better we are cracking on getting things done we've got a few boxes left of just stuff that we need to test so uh yeah it could be a long day but We'll get some of these tested, I think, um, and go from there. Obviously, a massive shout out to Master of Pieces. Yeah, I know he loves the Track Master bundle. We've got plenty of here. I think we've got some good ones, I think. I mean, he'll probably be screaming at the TV telling me these are all rubbish, but they look different. I mean, that ain't Thomas. That doesn't look like Thomas, so I'm, I'm guessing the more unusual ones, the better. Spencer? I've heard Master of Pieces talk about Spencer a lot. So, yeah, we'll get some of them done today as well. But back to the shoes. Right, so it's half past five and we've done a hell of a lot of work today. We've done a lot, a lot of listeners, but there is still some stuff left in the death pile that we need to crack on with. But first I need to load the car up with the box the shoes and all them other things that we have listed because uh, I need to go down to the unit uh, in, in the future. So uh, yeah, well, let's, let's do that now. We're gonna put some of this stuff in the car ready for the unit, but I think we started this at about 11 so 11 to half five already and it's just listing 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 organizing 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 but it needs to be done we need to get that death pile destroyed yep as you can see the car is filling up nicely yeah the car is filling up nicely and we need to get that stuff to the unit on monday it's currently a saturday leave in the comment section below do you list on a saturday because i normally don't but uh, yeah, for some reason, just felt like doing it today. So yeah, leave a comment in the comment section below. Do you a list on the weekend? If so, how many do you try and do? We've got to start on some of these then. We've got to get the old Trackmaster trains having a look at. I think, oh, I'm not too sure. I'm not sure I've got the right, uh, I've got the right screwdrivers, to be honest. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Super, super easy to test. All you have to do is loosen up this screw like so. And then you should be able to just lift up like so and change the batteries, put some new ones in and then reverse it like so. And then all you have to do is flip the switch and watch it move. Woohoo! Tested and working. Well, that's one out of about 50 that we need to test. What a 
result, every single one of them is tested and working. So that is a boomer. All you need to sell, all you need to get is a little precision screwdriver so you can open them up and then two AAA batteries. Very, very simple to test. Yeah, happy with that. So what I'm gonna do now is get them listed um, and they can go in the AD box. I think there's some space in there. And uh, yeah, we are really cracking on. Um, it's now what, half five, half six? That clock is well out, by the way. I think it's about half six. So, you know, we've started this project at 11. Uh, so yeah, we need, we're nearly there. We're so, so close. We're on a 70 listings for the day. I've got them scheduled throughout the week. So yeah, 70 listings so far in one day. Hey, that's not too bad, is it? Let's be fair. Right, we're calling it a day. I'm absolutely cream crackered. It's half past six. Well, getting towards seven, to be honest. And this is all we have left. What an absolute cracking day of listing. We can actually start seeing some of the carpet. So uh, we'll hide the carpet because it looks absolutely minging. But uh, we've had boxes on them for absolutely weeks and weeks and weeks. But that is literally... This little bit here is all we have left. It's a shame that I couldn't get this done today, but I don't want to burn myself out. It's been a long, long day. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and rabbits. We have finished on around about 76 listings, maybe 77, if you have started on with the Trackmaster stuff. That is literally pretty much done now as well. What a result. What a day, it just proves if you put your mind to it and just crack on with work, you can get a lot of listings done. Uh, obviously, I had a helper, uh, she'll kill me if I don't say thank you. So thank you very much, you know who you are. But yes, we spent around about, I think between the two of us, about five, six hours each. So about 10, 12 hours of just absolutely nailing the listings. 77 done in total, really, really happy with that. And more importantly, really happy that we've made it huge den in that death pile. There's hardly anything left. So yes, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy that video, please smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll see you beautiful lot in the next one. Bish, bash, flipping, bosh. <laughs>